So, uh, Jotsna and Shweta, it's a pleasure to present you with this year's award for the Human Resources Management and Organizational Behavior category in our annual awards. Uh, for your case, Amazon as an employer. Could I start by asking you uh, to explain a little bit about what the case is about? Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much. Uh, well, the case is about Amazon as an employer and how the New York Times article, which was published in 2015, August, had a real effect on new workers at Amazon and what is the culture there. People are very passionate about the brand Amazon and they would want to join them, but then we were getting a different uh, picture as the uh, lower level workers were really, really uh, saying it's a cruel place, it's soul crushing, so as to quote the paper. And why is it that despite those things, yet it is a very popular employer brand and everybody would want to join it. Mostly people would want to still join it. So that was a challenge that we actually looked at. What was it that attracted you first um, to write about this situation? We have never written a secondary case with IUV. And uh, when this uh, situation, this article came in and, you know, it was on LinkedIn that it was first flashed and we read it. I read it and I asked Shweta, shall we do it? Shall we team up together and do it? I said, yes, ma'am, let's do it. And then we started working on it and it was like a Pandora's box because we started, you know, <laughs> actually evolving and discovering a lot of things which we didn't want to write about it. And then we went into even, you know, reviewing and interviewing certain employees of Amazon, current employees, that is it like this? And some of them denied, some of the ex-employees said, yes, it is like that. So then we made a point that, okay, we made a decision point, let's go ahead and write it there. So quite a lot of research and quite an involved writing process. Um, Shweta, how was that for you, working with a professor as a, as a student co-author? Uh, it was an amazing journey. I mean, uh, we had co-authored a case uh, before this also, but that was a primary case. And uh, trust me, secondary cases are very, very difficult. Uh, I would not shy away for a uh, uh, from saying that I had tears, both literally and figuratively, when we were writing this case, especially with the review process with IV. And uh, there have been multiple challenges when we were writing this, and we used to discuss this uh, all the time. Uh, one of the uh, main challenges that I, I can uh, state is uh, acting, you know, uh, as a role of Sanjay. So Sanjay is a, a character in uh, one of the ancient epic in the Indian mythology called Mahabharata, wherein... Uh, Two sets of cousins are you know, fighting in the war field, uh, the Kauravas and the Pandavas. And the father of Kauravas, Ritrash, is a blind king. And he wanted to witness the events happening in the war field. And he asked uh, one of his ministers, uh, who had this mystic potency, to view events from far off. And uh, the primary responsibility was that he narrated the events of the war with precision, with clarity, and without any bias. And I think that was the most difficult part. Because uh, you know, other cases that we wrote, it, those were more factual, and this was this was so emotional. You know, every practices when we heard about, you know, it it, it touched our emotional chord. And I was like, uh, Professor Bhatnagar, let's add this also, let's add that also. Uh, but then we discussed and we we uh, we thought that you know we need to also keep the case balanced because when we are bringing it to the class, there has to be a discussion point in the class. So uh, that yin yang approach of uh, ensuring that we have enough positives also about the case and not just things that are touching us emotionally, you know, how can an employer do that? I think that was one difficult uh, 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 thing. And uh, Professor Patnagar helped me keep a check on that whenever that bias is used to creep in. I think that's fantastic to hear that the influence of the Mahabhatra and the strong Indian narrative tradition is, is reflected in, in cases as well. Uh, you can tell really with Indian case writing how much uh, the Indian authors love that strong narrative structure. Um, does it play well with students as well? Do you find, do you get any feedback from teachers adopting the case in other classrooms? Uh, of course, I think uh, with my own classroom, I had an amazing experience. Uh, so I've used it in the management development program with corporate professionals on topics like HRM and innovation. 
and with the executive um, MBA students on the core HRM when we are introducing the employer branding. And uh, uh, trust me, every student is able to connect with it in some way or the other. And uh, it also brings out that uh, fun element in the class. So student would come up and say, you know what, professor, I have suddenly huge respect for my own organization. And I have no more complaints with my own organization. So those, those have been uh, things on the lighter side. Uh, so it, it, it really works well to discuss uh, the various topics. Professor Bhatnagar would like to add on to that. Yeah, I'd like to add because whenever I introduce this case in HRM or in entrepreneurship or in employee branding or in even organizational behavior or in a uh, management development class, they would be, always have a poll, you know, how many of you would like to work for an organization which keeps you in an edge? And mind you, I have, you know, at least 50% of the class saying yes. I said, why? Why do you want it? You have it in front of you. Oh, we want to experience the thrill of working there. So it works the other way around and it says that yes, we'd like to go and see and and then I the women diversity here in there. So so women, girl, students actually they say that, well, I would really like to go and see what happens. Is it true? I said yes, they're saying it's true. But then ma'am, whether I'll be able to handle it or not I would want to see it and maybe thrive and I would like to do it at the beginning of my career and, you know, really have that uh, the thrill of working with Amazon. So everybody wants to work with Amazon. So the brand grows bigger uh, with the case, which definitely is there. So we also don't look at one side, which Shweta has mentioned. We look at the pros and the cons, the plus and the minus. And which one would you, you know, go ahead with? And then we have a poll in the class. And the poll always, Amazon wins all the time. That's very interesting. Um, it's a terrific case. I can see why it's so popular. Um, and I wish you continuing success with it. And it's been a great pleasure to learn a little bit about what went into writing the case and find something about your experiences in writing it and how it plays in classrooms around the world. Congratulations again on winning this year's category for human uh, so resources much. management. Terrific. So I'd like, just like to say one thing. In between when we were doing research, you know, it, it would come back and forth, back and forth. And Ivy was very, very, very particular about certain things. And, you know, at one point of time, there was a little loss of patience from both our sides. I said, no, we're not going to stop working on it. I said, Shweta, mark our words, this is going to be a bestseller. And actually, it became a bestseller. We had not written it with that intent, but we had written it with full passion and sincerity, you know, digging out each and every detail, the plus and the minus and also being very, very careful as to what we write and what we don't. So getting all of it in five to six pages is the challenge. And then also conveying your the story of compassion versus business profit versus, you know, uh, keeping people on the edge for innovation and yet coming back with the same zeal and fervor to, you know, again, for yet another innovation is what the case is about. And that's why we did not give up. And that is the team, of course, goes ahead and says we did not give up. And then we wrote another recent, another case on Amazon again this year. Not the same team. But yeah, we've written it again. Fantastic. Fantastic. Isn't that, uh, yeah. isn't that a lesson to be learned by any case writer that you get out of uh, the process what you put into the process and, and de dedication as well as talent is really uh, rewarded. So congratulations. Thank you Thank again. You so Thank you. Thank you so much.